Agencies tasked with saving lives are getting some major help themselves. The West Side Volunteer Fire Department in St. Albans and 24 other fire departments across seven counties in West Virginia have been awarded a $2 million grant to split amongst themselves. News Channel 3's Kimberly Donahue spoke with their chief deputy over at West Side about the difference the award will make on every call. On each and every call handled by the West Side Volunteer Fire Department, firefighters are thinking about how priceless life can be and what it takes to save each one. I go out of here today with a brand new set of, of uh, protective gear and, and it get torn up or burn on the fire and it has to be replaced and you're looking at six to seven thousand dollars time you outfit each fireman. Deputy Fire Chief Danny Dalton says it's thoughts like those that started a conversation about a year ago amongst the crew to look into grant funding to help cover the costs of gear and some new equipment. Quickly learning, they were not alone. Our priority was, was new protective gear for our firefighters. And that's what we applied for, along with uh, nozzles and hoses and things. But as it, as it went into the first few stages, the first couple months, it kept growing and growing and growing. And we ended up with 25 departments that were all basically on the same page with the same needs. Now, a year later, 25 fire departments, both volunteer and career in the area, will benefit from a $2 million award for equipment from the FEMA Assistance to Firefighters Grant Program. It's nearly 400 sets of protective gear, numerous appliances, nozzles, fittings, and hoses, and all such. It lifts a great weight off of your shoulders when you're in this operation because everything's costly. Dalton says considering the hardships fire departments of all sorts have faced in recent years, he's excited that so many of them will be able to invest in the gear that's needed to keep their crews and their community safe. We're very fortunate here, but we have fire departments in the southern part of the state that are struggling that are part of this grant that, that I can only imagine the impact it's going to have for them and the communities they serve. A life-saving difference to those tasked with putting their lives on the line each day. Kimberly Donahue, WSAZ News Channel 3, Kanawha County. South Fork Volunteer Fire Department in Pendleton County also received grant funding just over $310,000.